when I finish working here and uh, I've been cooking all day, I normally go home and let Nikki, my wife, cook. <laughs> Italy is nearer now with all the cheap flights, so people go to different regions and different cities of Italy and they come back here and they want to recreate or try and recreate the carbonara from Rome, for example, or you know the, the Sicilian fish that they've had in the market in Sicily, in Palermo or whatever. And uh, you know they come here and they want pane panelle, they want uh, you know the caponata, they want the uh, parmigiana. They want they want that flavour in in um, in the restaurant that they had in Italy when they went there on holiday. What represents Italy for me uh, is the ingredient. The ingredient has to be at its best: uh, fish, meat. It can be vegetables. It can be anything. Uh, but uh, you know. Now that I just said, you know, Italy is nearer, uh, people bring burrata fresh, you know, every Wednesday, and uh, mozzarella comes from the right place, you know, in, in Naples somewhere. And, you know, so English people are very lucky now that us Italian chefs have really stepped up a gear and we're bringing in the best of the best of Italy. That's why events like Bella Vita is, uh, are very important in this country because it showcases the small producer from the regional place in Italy. Well, um, I'm expecting from Bella Vita, <clears throat> I'm expecting that they're going to showcase some really good Italian regional ingredients, small producers, and I'm going to be there demonstrating maybe how to make, I don't know, spaghetti guitarra from scratch where I come from, Abruzzo, <laughs> very famous. And uh, I'm going to do a couple of fish dishes because I come from a fish, fishing village, uh, Pescara. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to keep it very regional and I'm going to cook some, uh, some of my mum's recipes there.